What's up, WSTL supporters? How y'all feeling today? Hope y'all doing great. So, I decided to make this quick little video to talk about irresponsible owners with their dogs off leash. This is a big problem. So, this is an incident that literally just happened. So I had to talk about it. So I'm training my dog off leash. Um, you know, we are the exception to the rule because I know what I'm doing. So I decided that my dog off leash training him and obedience training like what you see on the regular in the videos. This person uh, pulls up to this uh, park uh, where we are and as soon as they get I mean they didn't even get all the way out the car they let the dog out before they got out the car problem number one problem number one already told me who's in charge the dog the dog said I get out first and you get out last so <laughs> so Problem number one. So my my dog is Rex is facing me with his back turned towards them, and I'm seeing this unfold, right? And what makes it worse, and what makes it worse, the dog takes off running towards us. But you you ready for the kicker? That's not even the hook. That's not you ready for the hook? Not only is the dog running towards us, the dog is running towards us with a service dog emblem on his harness. Y'all should be saying, what? I don't think you just heard what I just said. The dog started running towards us with a service harness, meaning this is a service dog, right? The service dog, the, the service dog job is to uh, provide service to the owner. Typically meaning you're supposed to stay close to your owner and never run off. What kind of service dog runs off from his owner um, without any type of discipline? I know that because I train dogs and I train dogs also in categories for service animals. I'm the one that teach them the, the duration of obedience. They come through me to make that happen. And that's not a service dog. That's just someone who slapped on a service uh, dog emblem on their dog to lie to the public and tell them what they would what they would use their dog for to get into different places but the truth is uh that's a damn shame so what pissed me off in the moment i was pissed off what pissed me off in the moment was the dog had no recall zero recall if you're gonna let your dog out there your dog better have recall period because you don't know how my dog is gonna react to your dog running up on us. And, my, and Rex is an awesome dog. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it messed up. Rex is an awesome dog. But you gotta remember, at the end of the day, I'm his owner. I'm his pack leader, and he will don't he will defend me. And as you guys know and you've seen on my channel, you don't want him to have to go get angry or have to defend me the way he bites. It's over for that dog. Period. He's not letting go. He's, he's gonna fuck you up. Period. So the good thing and what, and what that also was a testament to my training because my dog stayed in the down and did not react didn't turn around didn't react because he trusted me that i would take care of the situation as the pack leader which i did so before the dog ran up on rex i got in front of rex in a defensive um uh, posture and i yelled at the top of my lungs get your fucking dog i was pissed And all she can say is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry? You are a sorry pack leader. You are. Because you knew before you let your dog out that your dog had no recall. And this is the irresponsible crap that us uh, uh, great trainers have to deal with when, when you deal with so many people in the public who, who try to have their ego as if their dog is on point and, and they, they're perfect and they don't have nothing wrong with them. You're just lying to yourself. I mean, the dog had zero recalls. The whole time she kept calling his name, calling his name, he just was ignoring her and just running towards us with all of his might. 
And because I got into a defense departure in the defense, the dog stopped in his tracks. It was actually a great Dane to be exact. The great Dane stopped in his tracks and said, oh, I don't think I want to try this big dude. He confident. He shows the right, he made the right decision because I will defend my dog the same way my dog defend me. So when I got in that partial, the dog kind of backed up and, and, and uh, she ran over to her dog and grabbed him by the leash and was like, why did you do that? Talk to her, like talking to her dog, why did you do that? Really? Dun, dun, dun. No, you are the problem. Because you didn't get your dog right with the obedience training. That has nothing to do with trying to get it in on the dog. No, you need someone to get it in on you because you are irresponsible. So, more of the story, I'm keeping it short. More of the story, if you know your dog is not trained, stop letting your dogs off the leash. You're irresponsible, period. Quit being irresponsible, guys. I'm not talking to my subscribers. I'm talking to the people who will watch this for the first time and are irresponsible. Quit doing it. It's annoying as fuck.